So today, me and Gio, we have to meet to nail down some of the final details of a few launches that are coming up. Our Samurai and Sumo collection, and the other one is we have a big cut and sew collection with a lot of moving parts, so we gotta make sure everything is perfect. So the first collection that we're dialing in is the Samurai Sumo collection. And I'm super excited about this because as we know in powerlifting, the sumo deadlift is one of the most popular lifts in powerlifting. Like for bench, there's no like special name. It's just close grip, wide grip or whatever, you know, squat, high bar, low bar. But for deadlift, we actually have a name and it's sumo deadlift. And I was like, dude, we should totally make a T that's a sumo wrestler deadlifting. And so um, we designed this. This is Bartle Brigade in kanji, and I think it came out freaking sick. And even on his chest, it's like a Japanese version of our skull logo. So this one just got dialed in, hot off the press. This one's approved. Um, and to pair it, I was like, is there an actual exercise that has the name Samurai in it? So I was Googling, and there's actually is. There's this thing called a Samurai Squat. So this one is a sumo deadlift tee. This one is a Samurai Squat tee. And uh, to kind of counterbalance it, I put dragons all over this one. And then this one, there's like a bunch of demons. And I had the samurai cut off one of the demon heads. Which ended up being really, really cool. Because this demon head kind of became like an additional asset in the whole collection. Where we're turning that into its own additional design. Because that looks so cool. Kind of reminds us of the skull. So that's gonna be its own design. This is gonna turn into a hat. And these are just kind of like all the assets like deconstructed, meaning you take like a full piece of art and you break it down into its like elements and you can make other things out of it. So this ends up being the full collection where we're gonna have the samurai tee, sumo deadlift tee. Um, we have the OG kanji because it's just this barbell brigade. So we turned it into a full Japanese art inspired collection and it's my job to make sure everything is spelled correctly, the right colors, um, there's no mistakes. And sometimes we have mistakes. <laughs> we actually have a box of jackets somewhere in here where everything's spelled wrong. Like that's all it takes, it's just one letter off and the whole thing you can't sell anymore. But uh, this one is finally dialed in, so I'm really excited about this. Moving on to our cut and sew. So then the first one's gonna be B1. I mean, just show me what it is. The coach's jacket. Coach's jacket, perfect. What I need to know is, can we screen print on it? So B1, because the material is so thin. Well, I just don't know. Like sometimes a screen print, they'll ask for a specific temperature. So I just want to make sure that you can screen print on it so it doesn't melt. Okay. And then since it's not, um, this one we're trying to aim for January, January 17th to be exact. So you so want I'm, January 17th? Yeah, I'm trying to launch this. I mean, you probably don't know this much info just yet, but. I don't need to know that. If you just tell me January 18th, January then we 17th. have, then we have to order by the first week in November, which means you don't, which means you probably have one more round left of Okay, samples. perfect. Because what I want is to have this pocket um, so keep the pocket now. I want this pocket this way. So you tuck it this okay, way. Okay, so keep the pocket, yeah. but just... If we have the time. If we don't, so when you confirm the actual times, if we don't, just take the pocket out. Okay, so keep pocket, but make it um, vertical? Yeah, make the pocket vertical. Okay, so the fitment is still good on it, right? Yeah, and I'm looking for a black one. So you we'll, have the black one? Yeah, yeah, we'll move forward with the black one. Okay. Everything else is okay, buttons are okay. Even yeah. this material is okay. Yeah. The inside material is okay, the straw strings okay. Yeah. So this year is actually our 10th year in existence and operation. As we progress, we always try to figure out how can we come out with better launches? How can we make designs look even more dope? How can we streamline things? How can we make things even more efficient? So um, with this being our 10th year, going on 11th year next year, we're really trying to set ourselves up. So in the next decade, 
Barbell Brigade is for sure in the next level. B2. Yeah. So that one, you wanted to, do you want to look at the old model? No. Okay. The color is really nice. Yeah, it's really good. How are the pockets? Does it fit your phone? Oh, well, this pocket's good. Yep. So that one, the only thing you wanted to change were the buttons. Um, from the last, from the last one, right? From the last one, and then it was going to be. They sent us a large, but um, it was like too big, so we needed to size it down. So their large should actually be a medium. Or actually, we needed to size it up. Yeah. So this one fits good. So that no changes. That's ready to rock. This one is, let me that see. That one is B2, so look at your other swatches also. This is the last one, and then this one was, oh yeah, this one's tight. And this one feels like I'm wearing a, a woman's jacket. Oh right, because that one they said is large, but we're saying that's medium. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one is, would be a medium. So the fit is good. The fit okay. is good. Now the colors just depends on the launch. Oh, I so see. I'll plan the launch and then I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. So pending launch. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Let no more changes is really good. Yep, always. That one's no changes. That one's good. Oh, you still wanted to know if the material was water resistant. Is that still something you want to know? I still want to know that. Uh, yeah. For a copy. Um, that's it. Cool. Now it's uh, B BB three, which is the fleece. So this is the old model. Yes. I checked and they all look pretty good except for one thing. Yeah. Um, so you wanted the pocket material on the upper back panel? Yep. Because the other one didn't have that? Yep. Then you wanted to add that same material on the collar, on yep. the upper front half? Yep. And then you wanted to add that same material as elbow pads? Yep. Uh, and then, so the fitment you liked, the black color you liked, um, and you love the pocket. Were they able to... Um can they like color match the ties? I'll the, ask. The I'm poles? sure they can, but I'll ask. I'll get that done to that color. To whichever garment we make. Okay. Is the fitment still approved? Because you liked it the first round. So I would say because um, now this isn't dropping until at February the earliest, I want to see it with the shoulders half inch wider. Because I think um, because the fleece is spongy even though it might be the exact same width the top fabric doesn't stretch so it tightens the so half an inch fabric. yeah just half an inch um what do you think about this here though how it sticks out does that bother you at all which one this you see this sticks up oh no it doesn't bother me because i think it's just part of the uh material so that doesn't bother you no what bothers me is just the the way that like this could be eight inches here and this could be eight inches, but because this eight inches can go to a 12, yeah. this one kind of like, it pulls on it. So it yeah. makes it fit kind of like tight and then loose at the bottom. Do you like that this is exposed or do you don't? Yeah, yeah I like you that. You don't care, okay. And then just getting the same. You like the pocket? Let me see. Yep. Depth is good? Yep, it's good. What about these pulley thingies on the side? If they can be a solid color, that'd be cool. Instead of these little dots. So for this particular project, I do run a lot of the productions for the apparel department, which means basically whatever Bart and our designers or like our graphic designer they come up with, they give me the final polished look and they go, hey, this is what we're trying to do. So I basically get it from paper to like having the physical product in your hand. So that means making sure we got the right materials, the right fitments, the right manufacturers, the right price. Well, anytime it comes to anything in productions, you are gonna run into a ton of issues like a material shortage. Um, it could be the manufacturer equipment broke down. I've ran into that. Um, things are back ordered or we're gonna enter a holiday season. So right now is Q4 and a lot of people are setting up for the holidays. So it's just a lot of little things that, you know, you really have to pay attention to um, when it comes to this specific position. So Bart and I have worked together for literally a decade. So like literally 10 years. It's really hard for us to bump heads now just because we're so specified. So his role is strictly creative. He knows my role is strictly production. We really do respect our positions. So there's no way that either one of us could really bump heads.
So a lot of the stuff that I design is very military inspired. One, it's in the name, Barbell Brigade. I had a really good time messing with gear in the military because everything is so functional. The military hands down has the best shit, but how can we also make it look cool? And that's where I feel like Barbell Brigade comes in where like even like our amphibious shorts, you know, like we have our tiger camo and we put the front fly. So we take kind of like the function, then we add the form and then now we have the perfect product. So with this fleece jacket, I'm extremely excited about this bad boy because uh, for all my Marines out there that was in during 2003 to 2009 era, all of you guys got issued the black Polar Tech fleece. Let me know if you remember that. And that was one of my favorite pieces of gear because not only was it like a thick fleece like this, like this is something that if you just put like a windbreaker or a raincoat over, like this will keep you super warm. But here are all the things that I love about it. One, like if you saw original fleece that we, that the sample that came in, it's missing these shoulder elements. But if you were to go out hiking and you're wearing a backpack, like that will wear your fleece down. And then the original Polar Tech fleece that I got in the Marine Corps had, um, this, uh, what is it called? Like more of a, a stronger material that made it more durable, but it was only on one side. So to make it look cool, I was like, let's put it on both sides. And it was on the right side because also for the buttstock of like a M16 or M4, like if the repeated um, recoil will damage the fleece. So with this material, it actually helps the garment last longer. So we put this all around, covers the pocket over here. And I'm a big, big fan of horizontal pockets. And the reason why is in the military, you're in the prone position a lot, right? Like you're actually like laying down because either like you're shooting or you could even be sleeping in a sleeping bag. So what I love about the horizontal is it's one hand operation. You can literally be over here with your buddy about to blow up some bad guys. If you need something, you just open it with one hand and you can stick, stick it in like this. But if it was vertical, like how a lot of civilian garments are designed, like you have to reach in like this and it's really hard and you need two hands now. So the horizontal allows for one-handed operation, which I love. In addition to that, we've got the elbow pads, right? Like if we're gonna shoot a weapon or if we need to crawl around, you don't wanna wear your fleece down. So. This piece was heavily inspired by the Polar Tech fleece that we were issued. And um, we get to just make it that much cooler because it's released by Barbell Brigade. So that was the design inspo behind it. So everything that you saw in this video today is either launching soon or is in production. And we're always working on stuff. Like whatever you guys see on our Instagram that we're dropping, we probably worked on it six to eight to maybe even 12 months ago. So it is a lot of work and effort that we put into it to try to come out with the dopest gear possible. So we are really, really appreciative of all of you guys that support. Um, if you guys are super excited about the Samurai Sumo collection, just like me, that's dropping the first week of November. So stay tuned for that. The Cut and Sew collection, we still have a bunch of little moving parts, so I can't really give you guys an official date. But if you follow our Instagram, Barbell Brigade, um, you'll get the latest and the greatest there. And I'll see you guys next time.